Hello there and welcome to another short Python tutorial series. This one would be related to working with PDF files. And as you can see in my folder, apart from my PDF tutorial Python file, I also have a PDF file that is named soccernomics.pdf. And this one is actually a book. As you can see, it has 336 pages. And we will see how we can extract the text from one single page as maybe at one point, that's what you would want to do, but also how to extract the text from all the pages from the PDF file. So our target file would be equal to soccernomics.pdf and we need to figure out how to get that. Now on the right side I also have my PyPDF2 documentation so PyPDF2 will be the library that we will be using um, and I will show you how it's structured to some extent but I think most people are just trying to find a, a quick solution. So let's first make sure to extract the text and then we will focus on the documentation. Um, so where do we start? First, of course, from PyPDF2, we're going to import PDF file reader. And this is the class that we're going to be using. Before we um, use this on our file, we need to make sure that it's open. and. Let's do it like this. Open file would be equal to open the target file in order to read bytes. Now you might be wondering why don't we add this one here and there is no need for two lines. It is to some extent correct. It would of course work. Uh, but if you have, for example, instead of one target file, if you have target files and that is a list, so it's a.pdf, b.pdf, c.pdf etc what you would like to do is this open file to be uh, to, to be actually part of a loop for every file that you have you want this target file to be open so this might be a bit of an easier way to to follow what's actually happening because first you would like to get the file or at least the location of the file and then you would like to open it and then once you have that you can have your pdf as pdf file reader of this opened file. So there are of course many ways that you can do it but I think this approach is, is at least a bit easier to follow and that's why I've decided to, to do that. Now as part of the PDF file reader class if you want to extract text regardless if it's for one page or multiple pages you would anyway have to get the page. So here we have this get page and before that, I would also get num pages, which actually calculates the number of pages that are available and it returns an integer. So it just returns a full number um, with the number of pages. So let's see that num pages would be equal to PDF dot get num pages. Let's make sure that this works. So let's print the number of pages 336. If we go back to our PDF file, that's that's matching. So it means that that is correctly done. Now let's get a page. So our page would be equal to pdf.getPage. And as you can see, we need to specify a number. Now you might be wondering, well, I need to extract the entire PDF file. Why do I need to specify a page? Uh, this is the approach that is in the library that you need to first get a page and that which returns a, a page object. And then once you have that page object, you can extract the text which means that you can of course do that this for all the pages you can iterate through the number of pages with the, which is something that we will do uh, as part of this tutorial but let's start with getting the page i think zero is just the cover page and there it's not much there so let's get page one instead and then uh, once we have this page our text would be equal to page dot extract text so again this is fairly easy to follow if, if you already know your way around this documentation. Um, there's also a lot of other things that I'm not be going to be covering this tutorial, but if you, if you have some time to go through the presentation, I think that would be very useful. So let's print the text and also let's make sure that the structure of the, of our code looks a bit better. So this is our, let's say page one. This is what has been extracted. This is what it actually is. And I think it's, it's quite acceptable. Now at the moment I don't see any strange characters, but that might not be the case. Uh, and I think later on we will probably find that. So let's see how we can also deal with that. So 
let's let, let's make sure that we have a, a bit of a nicer structure so this first part is related to let's say opening the file that we want to to um, extract the text from then here we have uh, get number of pages although this is quite self-explanatory of course you would not want to print that all the way all the time and then this is basically the extract text all right so this is the the last part of of our script now if you want to do that for the entire pdf file this extract text basically would be a for loop so for i in range number of pages you would like to have a few things first get that page and then extract the text and this would work but the question is what is the goal what do you want to do with this text and maybe you what you would like to do is first have a variable just an empty string text and then add this extracted text to it for example if you just add it like this um, in our first iteration in our zeroth iteration we would have the information from the cover page that would be added to our empty string so we would only have the cover page. Then in our second iteration, we would have our next page added to what we already have in the text, which would be the cover page and so on. But what you might want to do is between these pages, you need to think of how do I want to separate the pages, which um, sometimes it might not be necessary if there's already some space in between, but that might not always be the case. So you might want to add sometimes just an empty space uh, sometimes you might want to think of a page break uh, or maybe just a, a, a bit more space. Um, so this part is something that you need to, to figure out what works best. Now, the, once you have the text, let's, let's first make sure that this works. So let's, uh, let's do first print the length of the text. Let's see how long it would take Python to extract this from all the PDF pages. Um, that was... I think acceptable didn't take that much time um let's take a look at i don't have uh, let's take a look at the file so 336 pages um it was quite fast it has a bit over half a million characters so 650,000. let's get a random selection so let's print text from uh, let's say the 20,000 to 21,000 characters Let's see if we see something strange, because that should be the case sometimes. Yeah. So, for example, um, this is probably just an apostrophe. This is something that you need to, once you have processed the entire PDF file, you might want to scan through it to see if there's something strange in there. And oftentimes that would be the case, because, of course, Python is just simplifying the text, but it all depends on the formatting in your PDF file. So you might to find and replace these uh, strange characters. Um, but of course, it might also be completely fine in your first run. And then you might not even have to do any, any additional adjustments. Um, I think that this is actually all that you need when it comes to extracting text. Um, this is sufficient. You can you, It just takes a few lines of code. Um, maybe what we can also cover quickly is because it's to some extent related to extracting data. If we go back to our PDF uh, reader class, apart from this get page number, uh, get page, all these methods we already covered, there is also one that is get document info. And based on the description, it retrieves the PDF file document information as a dictionary if it exists. So if the document already has this information, it they, uh, this would allow us to retrieve them as a dictionary and here we can also see the information that is being returned or if there is of course not, not no information then none would be returned so let's take a look at this um i will comment should i comment or remove let's let's comment this part out i'll do it like this um, so we need our file this is just a multi-line commenting out and then let's have our information to be equal as pdf.getDocumentInfo. Let's print this information. So what are what are the information what is the information that we can extract from it? So we has we have quite a lot of information, but probably the ones that 
would be interesting if you're uh, working with a lot of files so maybe the title see author so there are some at least it's not a, a file that has no information and if we go one step further to take a look into this documentation information you will see that you can um, of course if this information exists you can extract them by um, going one step further so for example I know we had author so let's add author so information dot author let's see okay that that's how it works so this is actually an interesting method if you have for example a hundred PDF files and you would like to get some insights into what those files are or maybe you would like to sort them in in one way um, this is what you can use and I think this is sufficient for for this first video for the next ones I'll probably focus on merging PDF files rotating them um, maybe uh, encrypting so it would not be a very long tutorial series but I think it would be very useful uh, if you're if you're working with with PDF files so thank you for following and I'll see you in the next video